Maine, so many volunteers and local organizations work to help the unhoused. Those groups depend on state and federal grants as well as donations, and that money isn't always guaranteed. But as New Star Maine's Caroline LaCour shares, one 67-year-old man from Wyndham is going great lengths to lend a hand himself. During his time working in Portland, Bill Gallant says he couldn't help but notice his neighbors in need around the city. Watching at the food pantries, people lined up, and I, that's what I kept on telling people well, since I when I started. I said I didn't like that. Gallant decided to take a trip across America in an effort to bring more support for the most vulnerable people back home. Because I started in Bar Harbor. Uh, right on Main Street, and uh, so I dipped my bicycle tires in the ocean before we started, mm -hmm. and off we went. Raising money for Preble Street Services, Gallant is biking a route known as the Northern Tier through 15 different states. So far, he's biked just over 2,400 miles. We've ridden in rain, uh, thunderstorms. Uh, you name it. With about 40% of the route left, Gallant's already raised a little over $2,000. His goal is to hit $10,000. I've got some people to donate out this way, too. So, you know, I, I spread the word. According to a report by the Maine State Housing Authority, there are fewer unhoused people being counted at emergency shelters around Maine so far this year when compared to the past couple of years. But that doesn't mean there are fewer Mainers experiencing homelessness. They say it's more likely that fewer people are accessing services because the end of the pandemic era funding brought many of those services to an end. In a statement sent to New Center Maine, a spokesperson for Preble Street says their work often depends on the contributions and dedication of donors, volunteers, and community members to keep services running. So I have two racks. Riding with a Preble Street and sticker as a reminder, Lance says he shared their mission with people he spent along the way. This is something I've always wanted to do. And, and, and says the long miles are worth whatever total amount he's able to return back to Maine. Can't just do nothing. So mm -hmm. there I go. Going the extra mile to help those back home in Portland, Caroline LaCour, News Center, Maine.